Hey family, I wanted to give you an update on a couple of house plants. This is the alocasia that I showed you earlier. It's been doing great. It's gotten three new leaves since I shot that original video. This is the latest leaf coming out right here, as you can see, and it's just doing great. It's uh, just a doing fantastic. Uh, it's called Purple Sword Alocasia. This is one of the original leaves and it has some, some brown spot damage from wherever they had it. It was being traumatized um, wherever, whatever nursery it came from. But since I've had it, all of my new leaves are nice and green and healthy and looking really good. So it's, uh, it's doing great. Uh, just loves the light that I give it um, right here by the window, but not in direct sun. And just a really cool, cool plant. I just love it. I can't believe how big it is. And I love the purple veining on the back of it. But like one leaf is like 18 inches long. And sometimes, depending on the time of day, they droop down like this. And other times they're all standing straight up. So it's really weird. You'll come out here and go, what the heck's going on with this plant? <laughs> it's just up and down all day long. <laughs> it's like it knows what time of day it is. So anyway, I fell in love with the alocasia when I was online researching this one. I uh, was watching a YouTube video about a dragon scale alocasia, which is apparently very rare and hard to find. And I swore that if I came across one of those, I would buy one no matter what and no matter how much it cost. So I, I lived to regret those words because I did find one. And isn't it a beauty? It really does look like a dragon scale. It does. It's just so cool. What a cool, cool plant. I just love it. And I, this one, it was $42. And they had two sizes. They had this one and then a $32 one. But the $32 one only had three leaves. So I figured, well, for 10 bucks more, even though I don't want to spend that on a plant, um, who knows when I'll find another one, if I'll find another one, and if it'll be cheaper. So I went ahead and splurged on it. Isn't it gorgeous? What a cool plant. And look at this. This is the back side of these leaves. Uh, bet you didn't see that coming. Look at that. Aren't those beautiful? What? A, it's just beautiful from the front and back. And it's like two totally different paint plants. I also have a new bud coming right there in the middle. You can just see it coming up. So I'll soon have another leaf on this beauty. He seems to be liking it here so far. Let's hope I can keep it alive because I just love it. And then while I was there, I also saw another alocasia that I wanted. This one was much uh, cheaper and it's called Black Velvet. And it looks like it's velvet. And like it looks like it would be really soft and like velvet, but it's not. It's like plastic almost. It's like fake almost. Isn't that cool? I love that one. So now I have three alocasias. Oh, and look at the back side of this one. It's like a reverse of the dragon scale. This one is all purple with gray with green veins. And it also sprouted a new leaf already. So soon it's gonna have four on this poor wee little plant with only three leaves. So those are my new ones. I got uh, I, the alocasias. I love them. I, they're supposed to be good for medium to um, low light. They tolerate some light. I have so many windows in here, as you can see, so the light should be really good for them. And I will keep you posted, and maybe you can come see them in person. Talk to you soon.